what's up with y'all man today we are back on the channel today and if you're new here so am i because i really don't post on this page a lot so i'm trying something new i was being supposed to be starting something it's 2024 you know everybody's like i'm gonna get in the gym you know i'm gonna get this body yeah that's me and i just got a new body speaking of bodies and that's the fx30 this is my first sony camera y'all really impressed by it to be real with y'all with this page in this channel, I'm not gonna be doing those nerdy specs and you know getting into things very deep. This is really for like the photographers and videographers that just wanna know if gear is going to fit them. It's really up to the individual what gear they really need. So don't take my word for it. Just watch my videos and just be entertained and just learn maybe, and maybe just learn something from it. You know what I'm saying? So please just like, comment, subscribe. Let's build a community up. Let's get it. Today, my review will be on adapters, not just any adapters. Today we have the Sigma MC11, and then we have the Metabone Speed Booster um, EF to E-mount. Um, so prior to this video and prior to getting this camera, I was always a Canon boy. This video is not sponsored by Canon. It is not sponsored by Sony. I wish it was, but it's not. Maybe in the future, wishful thinking. Sony was always a system that I was interested in but I never just made that leap because let's face it, selling on your camera gear is annoying. Eventually I had got the R5, I had the Red Komodo and I had the Canon EOS R. So the Canon EOS R kind of got boring after a while because I had got the uh, Fuji X100B and um, that was just my picture taking camera. That had replaced the Canon EOS R. It really was just a picture taking camera after a while and at that, uh, when I did want to do video, it only did video up to 4K 60. I don't even think it did 4K 60. It actually did 4K 24 and that was it. You could only shoot in 1080p 60 frames per second. And that just wasn't cutting it for me. So <clears throat> I took the leap to just go ahead and get the FX30. Now the FX30 has been amazing. Let me tell y'all, bro. If y'all want to go mess with a brand, bro, either go Canon or come Sony. Don't go to Nikon. No, I'm playing. <laughs> I'm not even gonna do that, but Nikon is disgusting though. If you wanna go to Nikon, go anywhere. Honestly, in my personal opinion, I feel like you could take any camera on this earth and make it look just like an Ari or a Red or whatever the hell you want it to look like. It's just all about the skill. It's always about the skill. So first I'm gonna talk about both of these adapters and um, what's the pros and cons. Um, I will show some examples on the screen for you guys. It sound kinda loose, y'all hear that? sound like an AMSR, right? There is a like microscope type of, not a microscope. Oh my God, I'm making myself sound like an idiot. This is what you got YouTubers do? This is embarrassing. All right, there's like a piece of glass inside the adapter. It benefits the adapter because um, it helps with better low light. You actually get an extra stop of light, right? If you have a two-point lens, this adapter is gonna make your lens be a F2. But here's the catch. So at first when I had got the adapter, the autofocus was trash, okay? Garbage juice. I was using it and it could not focus on my face. It just couldn't do the right thing, right? To call the place, hey, y'all gave me a broken adapter, yada, yada, yada. No, we wouldn't do that, blah, blah, blah. We don't sell stuff like that, yada, yada. I'm like, man, I'm like, I gotta get to the bottom of this. You know, I'm about to return the adapter. So I'm looking up, blah, 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 on my laptop, on my computer. And then I see that you can update the firmware. Wow, I'm so stupid. I don't, I, I wasn't looking for the actual, uh, thing that you could plug in, you know, the cord, yada, yada, yada. And um, I plugged it in, I updated it, and the autofocus actually worked way better. Now, I'm not saying it actually works great, but it worked way better. And lastly, you get low-key similar to a full frame crop with this adapter with the FX30. Now, if you use this adapter with the FX3, I don't know what that's like. If you take cinematography seriously, then the Metabone Speed Booster is the adapter for you for the FX30. So I found out about the MC11 through Gio Fagan, I believe his name is on YouTube. And um, he actually did a couple reviews on the, you know, MC11. It's a very great adapter. I actually choose this over the Metabones for the simple fact that I shoot music videos and I really depend on autofocus. I don't have a focus puller. The music videos that I'm into aren't really big budget. So uh, it's really a one or two man team. Um, and usually my two men is controlling lighting or just making sure everything looks good in the shot, right? So the MC11, I could deal with a crop. It keeps the same crop that the, F, the uh, FX30 holds. 
because you know the FX30 is an APS-C camera. Um, I haven't worked with APS-C camera since 2019, maybe when I had the Canon T6, and that's when I kind of first started getting serious into photography and videography. I like it better than the Metabone Speed Booster, but the only difference with this lens over the Metabone Speed Booster is that you cannot put any lens on this adapter, right? So what I mean by that is I have a Tokina 11 to 16 millimeter, but I cannot click it onto this adapter. It won't fit, like it will not attach to it. Like I can put it on, but it just, does, it's not secure on it, right? Really all you can use is Sigma lenses. So now I guess it's time to show you guys how this camera can perform with these adapters. So as you can see that the MC11 held up pretty great when it came to autofocus coming in and out um, compared to the Metabones Speed Booster. Um, so this bad boy, as you can see, it was really good. Um, I didn't really mess with the apertures. Everything was the same. Um, the settings and stuff like that I actually shot on the uh, Sony 8-bit and uh, 1080p. Um, I could you know, could have shot it in 4K and all that other stuff, but I don't think that really matters for autofocus. But, you know, then again, that's for another video to put all that type of stuff into the video. So as you guys seen, the Metal Bones had a lot of trouble like hunting for its, uh, you know, hunting for my face. And you can see that it really struggled with trying to find my face. Putting these on, I mean, you might like the Metabone Speed Booster because there's no play with it. And when I say play, like when you put it on to, when you put it onto the camera, it's very tight to the body. Um, it does, it's not finicky, it doesn't shake, it's not loose. Not a, only thing that's really loose, you can hear it. I don't know if you can hear it and it's picking up on my mic. But the only thing that what that is, is it is the glass part inside of here. Now this part, I don't know if this is supposed to turn, but I'm over here DJing my camera and shit like that. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that. I've never asked nobody yet, but you know, I've never asked nobody because it's not an issue for me, honestly. Um, I'm not really that picky. Long story short, just use manual focus. Um, I'm obviously because uh, if you're dependent on the autofocus for that, then your films are going to be ass and your music videos are going to be trash. The MC11 is the way to go. Um, yes, there's a crop on it. You guys probably seen the tremendous crop on it uh, using these and stuff like that. I think I had to adjust the camera a little bit, but um, honestly, you can see that it's really not a big difference and it really shouldn't hurt a real filmmaker and cinematographer because we're always going to make ways to make this shot come to life. Uh oh, I forgot how to put on adapters. So putting this on is also not loose, to be real with you. Now, I brought up the loose thing because with a lot of cameras, the adapters are very loose. Like there's a lot of play with it. Like, for example, the Ray Komodo, when I put things on it with the uh, uh, EF, RF um, adapter and stuff like that, it's kind of loose and finicky and you can hear sounds with it and stuff like that. It makes me feel like the lens is just going to fall right off of the, uh, you know, whatever this is called, the rim. But um, it doesn't. <laughs> I would hope not. In my personal opinion, I'd rather have this. Uh, if you're looking for running gun and you don't have a big team, I would suggest the Sigma MC11. Um, and if you are a big team, you know, you got like maybe like three, four five people and, you know, you guys want to want that extra uh, stop a light and, you know, that uh, full frame look, I would go with the Metabone speed booster, right? The sensor is very small, right? Because if it was a full frame, it would take up more of the sensor or more of the body or whatever this is. I believe full frame gives better depth of field and it always provides um, better low light. But if you're up for a challenge, hey, go ahead and get the APS-C. You know what I mean? Like, I love it. It ain't never did me wrong. Even in low light, I didn't been in strip clubs and shot with it. I didn't shot a music video with it. Now, granted, I'm gonna show the show the a little bit of the music video, but to be real, I didn't have all the lighting equipment that I needed that night. Um, I actually brought my light and it actually died on me, which is the 40 watt uh, Ulanzi uh, light 
I did a little mini like little commercial review video on Instagram, but uh, I'm, I might do another one, you know, just to shine some light on it. No pun intended, because it's a very great light. Um, it actually lasts you for a long time. But we'll talk more about that in another video. All right, y'all. So we wrapping this up right now, man. Um, I gave you my review. I gave you my opinions. I gave you some test footage. But with that being said, man, like, comment and subscribe and uh, let me know what y'all want to see next. I mean, y'all never do, but you know i guess i'm just gonna have to let myself know what i want to see next and at this point it's it, i just want it to be something that's fun to me um i know there's gonna be people that get in these comments and critique me like oh bro you don't know what you're talking about you sound stupid yada 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 hey that's cool bro that is cool with me i'm not tripping but you're watching and keep watching you feel me and tell your friend to tell a friend okay have them come here and be great because i'm just gonna tell y'all nothing but the real okay all right, y'all. Y'all be safe out there and keep being creative. Peace.